Hi there guys and welcome to another product review. Today we're looking at what has become quite common on our South African gun store shelves, which is less than lethal ammunition. Typically found for shotgun varieties or in shotgun shells. We're going to be looking at two common less than lethal cartridges found on our shelves so they kind of see how effective they are and what kind of effect we get from them. We're going to be trying to shoot at some five liter water containers and we're going to see what happens to them when we shoot them. A very comprehensive and scientific study. So let's throw some rubber balls down range and have a look at what happens. All right guys, the first ammo we're gonna try is ride and protest ammunition. 12 gauge, less than lethal. Um, let's see what they look like. So I've not fired this type of ammunition yet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they do. It looks as if there's two little small white balls. If I turn it up to the sun, I can actually see the white balls inside. And pretty light for a shotgun shell. So let's shoot this at two five liter water containers and see what kind of effect it has. Oh -ho! Hey guys, so the first test we did um, with the riot and protest ammunition, these ones, I was actually surprised. We had a pretty clean entry with regards to a hit on target of the bottle. Um, it went in, and at the face of it, what I assumed were two balls inside, just happened to be one. It looks like a cone-shaped projectile of some sort. Let's empty it out and have a look at what it looks like. There it is. If I had to describe it, it looks like a uh, fishing sinker, but a plastic one. It's shaped in, a, I would think, a more aerodynamic shape, which is quite interesting, as opposed to just using a ball. Um, it's also an odd and peculiar, not even a wad, but it looks like a, it looks like a screw, basically. A screw that kind of fitted in behind the actual projectile, I'm assuming to stabilize it in the air. Looks like a mini torpedo, which is super interesting. Um, yeah, so that was that was something I did not expect to see come out of that ball batten. So it definitely kicks a punch, has a very interesting aerodynamic shape to it, which I would assume would provide it with more accuracy over a longer range, but very interesting stuff. Didn't know that that was inside there. All right, guys, the next shell we will be shooting is the less than lethal two ball, 70 millimeter case, 36.5 grain, less than lethal ammo by law enforcement. Comes in a little red shell, very light. Let's see what this does on our target. Alright guys, the next ammo we shot was the less lethal law enforcement. It says 12 gauge, 70 millimeter case, it has two balls and the load is 3.65 grain. Um, very interesting. So, I shot at the water bottle, I fired twice in fact. Um, both times only making contact with one of the particular balls. So I'm assuming the other one went shy off our little target. And um, both of my times taking a shot at the water bottle. If we pull these projectiles out, let's see what they look like. Just made a huge mess of myself there. Eh? Uh, so if we look at the projectile themselves, they look as if they're little tiny rubber balls. They're quite soft, in fact, I can, I can feel they're made of rubber, so they're not a hard plastic of any kind. And they fit it into that little bad boy right there, a little red 
very light cartridge. Um, also made very clean entry holes into the actual water container. However, did not pass through them. Um, so definitely less than lethal. It is not, however, as accurate as the previous ones we used. I mean, by the mere shape and size of the ball. Um, again, firing at it twice, and each time only one of the projectiles actually making contact with the target. However, it did pack a bit more of a punch than I would have expected as well. All right, guys, we're gonna try what is very interesting to me something I've come across for the first time, a flash bang round, 12 gauge, 70 millimeter case. Let's see what this does. It's made by the same company that has made the previous law enforcement ammo that we used on the video. And let's see what results we get. Right guys, so the next type of projectile we fired was again from the same company that did the previous law enforcement 25 cartridges, 12 gauge, but it says under shot it says flash and under load it says bang. <laughs> Quite interesting. It's a flash bang. Um, once firing these, so there's no actual, except for the WAD, there is no real projectile that comes out of this cartridge. What you do get is a hell of a shock because this little puppy packs quite a punch. Now the video didn't do it the relevant justice. This makes a proper noise. What does come off the end is what would look like confetti. It does have like a, a, a piece of paper covering the top or the front of the actual shell. But all that came out of this was a big flash, a big bang, and a whole bunch of confetti towards the target. It doesn't cycle very smoothly in the pump action shotgun that I was using. However, it does pack a hell of a fright. So a very interesting cartridge shooting right here. Okay, right, the next non-lethal we're using is quite an interesting one. And they're less than lethal, nine millimeter ammunition. It has a plastic case, or what would look like a rubber case, um, with a little orange bullet at the end, or projectile. Remember guys, that's the only part that actually comes out of the barrel, if you're not familiar with how a cartridge works. This does not have a full steel case. So, it's gonna be very interesting to see what it does. I have fired these before. Um, they're actually surprisingly very accurate. I've shot cardboard targets with them and they do go through them quite easily. Due to my amazing planning, I've only brought two 5 litre water containers with me and I was not expecting the previous shotgun shells to actually go through the bodies of water. But they have. So, I've had to improvise. What I have is a half full 250ml bottle. Now, you may look at that as half empty, but like they say, it's all about perspective. So, we're going to be firing this projectile, a non-lethal or less than lethal 9mm round at a half full bottle of water and let's see what happens. So, failure to go in smoothly is the first problem we have here. Yeah, that did not chamber smoothly at, at all. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's not going into my chamber. You shouldn't do that with your firearm because you can damage your extractor. However, I had no choice. Hey, we have impact! And the shell will not eject itself because of it's a very slow charge, obviously. Hey, we have... Absolutely no hole on the bottle itself. You can see the mark the rubber made from the projectile, but it did not enter the bottle. Let's take another shot at it and see if we get the same result. Oh, just grazed him. Fed. 
All right, guys, so interesting information there. The 9 mil less than lethal cartridge. First problem I encountered, it does not chamber smoothly because of the rubbery casing. It's not the most smooth case that allows the chambering of this particular round. To manually shove it into the chamber and thereafter close the slide on it, otherwise it would not go in. It will also not cycle your slide evidently because of the powder charge being so light because the projectile is so light and is not meant to be lethal it will not cycle your firearm you'd have to manually rack your firearm if you have a magazine full of these and that bearing in mind it can actually chamber smoothly thereafter it is quite accurate we aimed at a small target it did not make it through either of the times on our particular target so that that's quite interesting um, this will not go through our half full water bottle at about seven to eight meters guys that brings us to the end of another review video this time on some less than lethal ammunition be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching guys